Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're back here working on the Countach project here in the garage. Um, if you remember in the last episode, we had the issue where the radiator started leaking. It looks like it may have blown a hole through it. So we're going to go ahead and take all that out, inspect it, see what needs to be replaced, what needs to be repaired. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and open this up. And based on the tight fit here, I'm going to go ahead and remove the hood to have better access so that way we can start removing that and uh, go ahead and see what needs to be done. So let's get started. Okay, so <clears throat> the hood has been removed and I'm looking here and these are, you have one fan here for the transmission cooler um, radiator and then there's another one on the back for the regular radiator and neither one of those came on which was part of the problem so normally they should come on as the temperature rises. So first thing I'm going to check is make sure that they're connected properly, that there's no uh, breaks in that connection, then if that all uh, checks out fine, then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these out and test them. They may need to be replaced as well. So let's go ahead and get the fans off so we can find out what's going on with them, and then we can start removing uh, the radiator uh, bracket here and start taking those pieces out. All right, so this fan has been removed. I've gone ahead and loosened the bracket here for the radiator, so we'll take that off. It looks a mess. And then the other fan, I went ahead and detached that, lowered that, so we can pull that out. That looks terrible. Get underneath, disconnect it. And then we're going to go ahead and then I'm going to back the car up onto, uh, onto the Rhino ramps. Because while we have this all taken apart, I'm going to also replace the transmission uh, oil pan gasket. So, because i got to drain the transmission fluid to get the... Uh, the transmission cooler radiator removed, so let's get this off. No, oh, that thing looks that looks uh, pretty impressive as well. So, next thing I'm going to do is make sure that the connections where they're going into is connected properly within. Um, if not, go ahead and see what what needs to be done there, or I may just run just a direct line. I have the two engine fans in the back that are powered by the console. I may wire these to those, so when the engine fans are turned on, these come on as well, so all four fans are running at the same time. Um, but another thing we need to do is we need to test these fans, make sure they even work. If not, we've got to replace those, so the journey continues. All right, this one here is the radiator side fan. Let's see what happens. All right, that one seems good. Okay, this is the transmission cooler fan, the larger one. Let's see if this one works. Okay, that one's good too. Alright, as we just saw, these fans do check out good and they work fine, so that's good news because I don't have to replace them. As you can see, they're filthy though, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and clean them real good so they're nice and clean. And then we'll go ahead and wire them up to the switch that controls the engine fan, so that way, start the car, flip the switch, you've got the engine bay fans and the radiator fans all coming on at the same time. And I think that'll solve our problem. Okay, so we went ahead and detached the bracket uh, bolt to the bottom. There we go, nice and loose. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, disconnect the, the uh, input and the output to the transmission um, cooler. Um, so to do that, we're going to have to drain the transmission fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and now back the car up onto the ramps because once we drain that, as I mentioned before, I'm also going to replace the transmission uh, oil pan gasket. So let's go ahead and back that up so once we drain it, we can also take care of that and then we'll be able to see what's going on with this radiator.
we started the car to back it up, the transmission line that goes into the radiator was not fully in, popped out, and now we have this transmission fluid mess that we need to clean up off this floor before it causes problems. So we'll be back in a second. Let me clean this up, and then we can pull the radiator out and inspect what damage was caused when it blew last time. Okay, the floor's been cleaned. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the radiator. We've got a little bit of a transmission fluid still leaking because I had to go ahead and disconnect the lines coming into the radiator. So let's pull that out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the floor again and then clean with some detergent to get any, uh, any of the, uh, the greasiness off. So let's see what we got. All right, let's go ahead and inspect it and see where the problem was. All right, so we brought this outside, the radiator. I'm going to go ahead and connect a hose into it and put some pressured water through it so we can see what's going on with the leak and then diagnose if it's something that's even repairable or if we should just scrap this thing and get rid of it. At this point, I'm leaning towards scrapping it because it looks like this is original. So let's go ahead and see where the leak is. All right. Well, as you can see, this is split all along here. So something, this is definitely shot. Doing this in here. Yep, there it is. So this is where it blew. And you can see right here, I'll get a close up of it for you, but you can see where it, it's clearly cracked, where, where it actually blew open. And there you can see it. This whole seam right here is just split and then cracked. You can see right here where it's cracked. That's where it's split. You can see it going all the way up here, separating in here. So that's, this thing is done. And that explains the big explosion kind of pop sound that we heard when we were idling the car. Uh, the other day and, and the thing just totally just exploded and just starts spraying all over the place So that's what happened the pressure and the heat just just blew through this so we'll get a new radiator All right, well as we just saw this radiator is completely shot So a new one has been ordered and on its way so we can swap that out and get that corrected So we can get back to the idling issue and get that corrected so we can move on to the suspension So that pretty much wraps up our episode for today here in the garage working on the Kuntosh project um I hope this video was uh, informative and just enjoyable for you to watch. Please send any questions, any comments. As always, I appreciate all the support, so please like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time here in the garage.